bedtime will just never be the same once you've met our next extreme bloodsucker. Crawling in to number three in the countdown is the bed bug. It can wait patiently in cracks and crevices for as long as 18 months until it's lured out by the irresistible smell of carbon dioxide on your breath. Their activity is usually timed to the sleeping cycle of humans, so they scurry about the bedsheets unnoticed in the dark hours of the early morning. An unfed bedbug is wafer thin, but once it's thrust its sharp proboscis into the skin, it takes little more than five minutes for the bloodsucker to become enormously engorged. Bedbugs are number three in the countdown because they can drink more than seven times their weight in blood. Your average human male would never dream of drinking that much fluid. It would be the equivalent of chugging back about 450 liters of blood. That's enough to fill seven kegs. If the thought of that much blood is enough to make you a little squeamish, then you'll really love the story of one of the earliest recorded blood transfusions. In Paris, back in 1667, doctors thought that a madman could be cured if he was infused with blood from a cow. It's a nice, gentle animal, and the theory was that the gentleness would be transferred in the blood. So, they strapped down the cow and the madman and connected their veins. The patient immediately started passing black urine and suffered a seizure. But apart from that, he was fine. Similar experiments were being done all over Europe including transfusions of things like milk and wine. The biggest problem was that when blood was transferred from human to human, half the patients died. Today, we know that the problem lay in the presence or absence of two proteins on the red blood cells that result in four distinct blood groups. Transfused blood of the wrong type and the patient's immune system thinks it's an invader and destroys the blood cells. That's why in the past, transfusions were just as likely to kill as cure. But the bed bug has no such worries because it will happily feed on any blood type, just like our next contender. So when you go to bed tonight, sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite.